Got new Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. While you're surely familiar with Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, and Pepsi, there are so many more sodas to discover. So here are the top 10 best fizzy pop drinks from around the world. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi a crrr? Did you just ask if Pepsi a crrr? Tony Cole, Mexico. El refresco diferente. It's no secret that in Mexico, fizzy pop drinks are a very big thing. While, yes, Coca-Cola is very popular across the border, they have found another way to quench their thirst. Tony Cole is a carbonated vanilla cream soda that is often described as a mix between Coke, Dr. Pepper, cream soda, and, oddly enough, carrot cake. Here's your carrot cake. With its unique flavor, quality ingredients, and total authenticity, Tony Cole quickly became one of Mexico's favorite soft drinks. It all began over a hundred years ago in the town of El Rosario in Sinaloa, Mexico. At the time, there were only two small soda companies, La Eureka and La Azteca. Angel Solorza Gonzalez, also known as Don Angel, was working for La Eureka when he decided to create a vanilla-flavored soft drink with a touch of other essences. Sadly, he was fired before he could realize his dream. So who took him under their wing instead? The rival La Azteca. Gonzalez created his soda, and after seeing the huge potential for the sweet drink, the two companies merged together, creating El Manantial. Nowadays, it is still produced in Sinaloa, and Tony Cole can be found at many retailers. But if you were hoping to get your hands on some, your best bet would probably be online. It's sometimes pretty hard to find. Oh, that's good. Iron Brew, Scotland. Mm. Tastes like bubblegum. Hey! Often dubbed the national drink of Scotland, Iron Brew is the most popular fizzy pop drink in Scotland. Yes, even beating out Coca-Cola for the number one spot. In fact, Iron Brew is also the third top-selling soft drink in the UK overall. Not too shabby, considering all the competition. Ladies. Made from a secret recipe, which has been well guarded and passed down for generations, Iron Brew is usually described as having a fruity cola taste with hints of bubblegum and can be a little reminiscent of cough medicine. Overall, it's pretty sweet and contains more than 30 flavors. But as much as the neon bright orange drink is beloved by its native land, the rest of the world hasn't always agreed on its safety. However, today things have changed. For several years, the tagline, made in Scotland from girders was used to sell Iron Brew, mostly because of the rust color of the drink. And while it's not actually made from girders, it does contain a little bit of iron, which is one of the ingredients that gives it its special taste. Don't be a can't. Be a can. Ramune, Japan. Ramune, the soda of summer. Ramune is the perfect example of how Japan is constantly looking ahead and not being afraid to stand out from the crowd. Best known for its cod neck bottles and glass marbles, the Japanese carbonated soft drink has some of the craziest flavors out there. From the more traditional offerings like cotton candy, cherry, and grape, to the more experimental ones like kimchi, teriyaki, wasabi, and even curry, no matter which one you end up choosing, they all come with the same bubbly effect and unique drinking technique. Technique. In order to properly drink Ramune, you first need to push down on the lid to make the marble fall in the bottle. But what's the point of the marble, you ask? Aside from adding a cute touch to the experience, it's simply to hold in the carbonation and seal the drink without the gas leaking out. You guys knew about this and you didn't tell us? Back in the day, that was the only way your drink could stay fizzy, and Ramune simply decided to keep the nostalgia alive. That's it! <laughs> it's good when it's frozen. Guaraná Antártica, Brazil. Yo soy Guaraná Antártica, el sabor original de Brasil. Even though the name of this soda might suggest that it's from Antarctica, it actually comes from a much warmer country, Brazil. Guaraná soda is Brazil's most classic drink and is enjoyed by just about everyone there, from grade school kids to senior citizens. It just brings people together. But what exactly is Guaraná soda? It's grape soda. Well, it's a fizzy drink made with guarana, an Amazonian plant with very high levels of caffeine. So much, in fact, that it's approximately three times stronger than coffee plants. 
Made mostly with sugar and carbonated water, like most sodas, Guarana Antarctica could even be considered something of an energy drink, but it's not advertised as such. It has spawned a wide range of variants over the years, including zero-sugar versions, an acai flavor, and a champagne version, among others. The golden caramel-colored soft drink is said to have a mild apple flavor, as well as a tiny taste of ginger ale with a berry aftertaste. It was first introduced in 1921 and has since become the most popular Guarana soda brand in Brazil. On top of that, it's even the official sponsor of the Brazilian national soccer team. And if you know anything about Brazil, you know how passionate they are about soccer. So if you want to bounce off the walls and get refreshed at the same time, Guarana and Archiga is the fizzy pop drink for you. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Crodino, Italy. Why are you whispering? Because it's a secret. This Italian creation was born in 1965 and has been Italy's pride and joy ever since. It's all thanks to liqueur aficionados and entrepreneurs who were looking to create tasty, non-alcoholic drink alternatives. More on the bitter side, Crodino is a deep orange fizzy drink with an intense flavor profile, verging almost on the herbal. The strong flavor comes from a mostly secret blend of spices like cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg, which are steamed with orange oil and orange peels. Really? You want me to drink this? Just have a sip of it and tell me what you think. To make this one-of-a-kind drink, they mix together botanicals and leave the extract to age in oak barrels for up to six months, a method that hasn't changed since its first creation. There are three main ways to enjoy a Crodino. First is to drink it with your favorite soda water, served with a slice of orange. Second, as a spritz. Or the third is simply to pour some into a wine goblet with a generous amount of ice. Those are the best ways to enjoy all of the citrus and fruity notes Crodino has to offer. Crodino's website even suggests including in some finger food or appetizers, such as tapas, cheese, and cold cuts as you sip your tangy drink. As people turn more and more more to low or non-alcoholic drinks, Crodino is the absolute best option. I gotta have some of that. No, 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 no. See, this, this was aged for a thousand years. Inca Cola, Peru. El Perú por delante. Here's another fizzy pop that's been dubbed a country's national drink, Inca Cola. The love story between Peru and its beloved Inca Cola is simply delightful. Also known as the Golden Cola, the yellowy, glowing, sweet carbonated drink is often described as bubblegum in a bottle because of its intense, sugary taste. But just like any respected soda, there is a rather high level of mystery surrounding the precise Inca Cola recipe. Better enjoyed at room temperature, Inca Cola and its fruity flavor and distinct yellow color soon became the beverage of choice for many Peruvians and was even adopted as a symbol of national pride. But while this sparkling drink was invented in Peru, it wasn't from Peruvian hands. Jose Robinson Lindley and his family emigrated from England to Peru, and they are to thank for this magnificent drink. After they founded a bottling company in the early 1910s, their family business slowly expanded opening up many new opportunities. In 1935, Jose introduced their new carbonated concoction, Inca Cola, and within 10 years of its release, it was already the market leader in Lima. Nowadays, the drink can be found all over Peru, from the smallest stores to the biggest chains, and even in some U.S. supermarkets and areas with large South American communities. Bionada, Germany. No lemonade compares to Bionade. Drinking beer is almost like a cultural experience in Germany, so much so, in fact, that this next fizzy pop drink could easily be mistaken for a beer. But don't be fooled, Bionada is far from being alcoholic. The only thing that might be similar to beer is the way it's made. As one of the most loved refreshments in Germany, Bionada is produced and manufactured in Ostheim, but it's a big hit all over the country. It's produced through a completely organic fermentation process with 100% certified organic ingredients like water, barley malt, and sugar, which gives it its extra refreshing qualities. We'll need energy. 
I'm vegan. Not only is it gluten-free and suitable for vegans and vegetarians, but it also contains no colorants, preservatives, artificial flavors, or any other unwanted ingredients that are typically found in other soda brands. Vianada is up to 60% lower in calories than regular soft drinks, which makes it a rather healthier alternative to pair with your meal or to simply enjoy as a late afternoon treat. According to the website, the drink is described as having a delicately tart and fruity taste, along with providing a refreshing experience like no other. With flavors like elderberry, lychee, herbs, and the spicy ginger and orange, it doesn't matter if you drink it on ice or straight from the bottle, you're sure to get the same satisfying Bionada feeling. Bionada, weil ehrlich gut. Pineapple Crush, Canada. Hey guys, check it out. We got the rainbow pack from Crush. Huh. Most people are probably familiar with Crush, the bubbly soda that was the life of the party when you were a kid. Rocking it since 1916, Crush has always been a fan favorite, no questions asked. You've got the traditional flavors like orange, grape, and the classic cream soda, but there is so much more. Only not everyone has had the chance to enjoy some of the more exotic flavors. In Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, Pineapple Crush has developed a kind of cult following, and for good reason. Let's see what this pineapple can do! With a light yellow hue and an intense and distinct flavor, it's definitely one of the best Crush varieties, something everyone wished they could try. The only problem Problem? It's only sold in Newfoundland. You would have a very hard time coming across this fizzy drink anywhere else, which is not good news for pineapple fans or crush fans. Some specialty theme stores, savvy shop owners, and wholesalers around Canada might carry the delicious drink, but unless you want to avoid a wild goose chase, heading directly to its province of production will probably be more effective. I'll have you will have a nice cold glass of the best thing you ever tasted, okay? Okay. Ting, Jamaica. It's a feel-good ting. Do you like fizzy, fruity, and just overall tasty drinks? If so, ting is just the ting for you. From the warm weather of the Caribbean, ting was created in the 1970s in Jamaica, and its popularity quickly spread across the island. And it wasn't long before the rest of the world was introduced to the sweet nectar. Ting. Tang, tang. Sweetened with Jamaican grapefruit and, according to the website, a splash of Jamaican sunshine, this blend of sparkling water can be enjoyed in many different ways. You can drink it as is, with a little ice by the pool, or as a mixer to create a variety of cocktails. That's the beauty of Ting, its versatility. It's apparently every cocktail's secret weapon, or so we've heard. There are even recipes on the drink's website you can follow. Stay tuned for more. Dandelion and Burdock, British Isles. Everest, look, make a wish. At first glance, a drink made of dandelions and burdock might sound a little weird and not very appetizing at all. However, if you can get past the unusual ingredients, you'll see what dandelion and burdock is all about. This British Isles classic can be pretty hard to find, so if you ever come across one, don't hesitate to give it a try. Dandelion and burdock is either loved or despised by its drinkers. Basically, if you're fond of anise or licorice flavor, this fizzy drink might just be the perfect fit. Yummo! A dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. <sighs> Otherwise, you might be in for a disappointment, as it's often described as a cross between the two. The drink is made from infusions of dandelion and burdock root combined with other natural flavors to create its distinct aroma and special flavor profile. Dandelions, even though they are usually associated with the unwanted weeds growing in the middle of your lawn, actually pack a lot of health benefits. As a very rich source of vitamins and minerals, the plant has been used for decades to treat tons of skin problems, blood disorders, and even depression. So many benefits from a mere carbonated drink. To get one heck of a delectable drink and some nutritional value at the same time, look no further than dandelion and burdock. Hello. Thirsty for more? Just tap or click another video and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.